Hi, I'm Maggie Lukowski of Maggie Moon Tarot, and it's wonderful to be with you again this week. As we start our week, the moon moves into Aries, which gives us the energy to start things and can put fire and passion into our projects. This can be helpful energy. If we've been feeling stuck internally or externally, and then midweek on the 24th, Mercury conjuncts Pluto. They act together and unite. Pluto gives you that intuition to act on those ideas. So it's a great time to negotiate. But not everything needs to be revealed. In general, conversations can delve into the deep end. So be careful what you share and who you share it with. And the headliner in the cosmos this week is at the end of the week, Mars moves from Scorpio to Sagittarius until March 17th. So we're on fire. This is a turbo boost as it adds that extra spark to everything, especially for the fire signs. This is a great time to schedule a trip, um, look to enroll in a class, or chart an adventure. With this supercharged energy, we want to be sure that we get adequate rest to take advantage of all that it holds. And this week I'm reading with the Pentimento Tarot by Joanna Powell Colbert. And Joanna uses the medium of beeswax and collage, which creates an effect of seeing through the layers of tarot lineage, partially obscured by time and beeswax, showing to the present. And Joanna chose three decks to live in the layers. And the first is the 15th century Visconti deck. The second is the 18th century Marseille deck, and the third is the 1909 Rider Waite Smith deck, along with some vintage photographs. So, this deck is comprised of the majors in the tarot, and Joanna suggests it can be used for meditation, a one card pull for the tone of a reading while using a full deck, um, a three card reading, journaling, a viso divino, a sacred reading. Um, and she describes that in her companion book. And for our reading this week, I'm using three cards. And the first will be the opportunity, the second is the challenge, and the third is what emerges. And I know that you'll fall in love with this deck as I have. And for our opportunity card that came out this week is the tower. How might this be viewed as an opportunity, you might say? Usually we see this card or the death card on a show or movie and you hear the dramatic music in the background, but let's take another look. The woman in the card has one hand on her forehead, the other hand on her neck, as if to say, good grief, now what? And traditionally we see figures falling off of the tower in the traditional tarot, as you can see in some of the background cards. This can be something big as a tower can pretend that, or something annoying, or the straw that broke the camel's back, so to say, so they say. So what has recently changed, or is changing, as we, maybe as we speak now? When we're on shaky ground, or the rug has been pulled out, we're then left to sort this, and look at what possibilities are we left with. Sometimes um, we don't make changes and the universe nudges us in a big way. It can also be a humbling experience coming down from that tower and we see things through a different lens or from our heart. If it's not us, it could be someone else. We can lend a hand. And the opportunity here can be a new insight, um, new possibilities. Maybe whatever was happening wasn't meant to be or um, working for our highest good, and now we can make a fresh start. And the challenge card that came out for our week is the Empress. Looks like they should have been switched. <laughs> but with the tower in the shadows, we can look and see what is available to us, even though we might feel a sense of loss or lack. And the Empress reminds us of our abundant birthright. This lady in the forefront of the card is dressed beautifully with jewelry and an exquisite headdress, as well as the women in the background of the cards. Looking at her, 
I feel a sense of worthiness about her and everything that she desires. We are all worthy of our dreams. The seeds that have not yet pushed through the soil are still there. She asks us to, to look at how we are nurturing ourselves during more challenging times. When we take time to be still, connect back to the divine in ourselves, we're able to feel our wounds, find compassion, to heal, imagine, and create. So what can we be grateful for despite our challenges? When we keep our focus and vision and be in a state of allowing or receiving, because things often come in a different form than we might expect, and our outcome can be even greater or a greater blessing, far more than we could even imagine. This empress may be an ancestor of ours, and she whispers, you are your treasure. And at the end of the week, when we look at what emerges, the lover card, lover's card comes out. And we see these women laughing and enjoying life. And often we find humor is the best medicine, coming together with friends, with our tribe, over the simple things, recounting fond memories, and through all the blessings and challenges, love is the glue that holds everything and everyone together. There may be a new love emerging for some this week too. And the lovers often talk about choices, and we always have a choice. Love is the opposite of fear, and which do we choose? Our brain can only hold one thought at a time, so why not make it one of love? If we make a conscious effort to connect to the things we love and those that, people and things that make us feel good, those thoughts, we can move forward more easily and we feel more encouraged. As to what emerges for our week and for our blessing, I like the quote from The Notebook by Nicholas Spark, and it goes, the best love is a kind that awakens the soul that makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. That's what I hope to give you forever. I've enjoyed my time with you. And if you like this video, I invite you to click on the like and subscribe button to my YouTube channel, Maggie Moon Tarot. And if you'd like to book a session with me, you can contact me at maggiemoontarot.com. Wishing you a fabulous week and our outro music is by Johnny Flynn on my Spotify list from the British series The Detectorists. It's a great show. Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. I'll be your treasure.